13 things customers want. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, there's 13 things customers want and if you can deliver them, chances are you're going to make the sale and or make more sales. So let's get right into it. So number one, show how you can help them. So you know, you want to be able to show them how you're exactly going to help them. Um, you know, so if you're going to tell them that you can reduce their uh, employee absenteeism, uh, show them how you're going to do that. Number two, tell them the truth. You know, you got to build their trust because people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And the thing is, is that if you start the relationship by by telling them a bunch of lies or or false uh, falsehoods, that's just not the thing to do. So tell them the truth and always always tell them the truth. Number three, tell them what's in it for them. So show them an example of what you've done before for other customers, you know, and how they're going to gain from making the, making the purchase of buying your services. You know, then go ahead, number four, prove it, prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. So what I mean by that is, you know, show them testimonials of other customers like them that have uh, purchased your services and are just totally thrilled that they made that decision. Number five, help them buy, don't sell them. You know, and that's the thing is that people, they like to buy, but they don't like to be sold. So remember that. Don't push them into something that, they're, that they don't want. You know, help them make the choice. Number six. Paint them a picture that they can see in their mind's eye. And that's very important now. So, you know, paint that picture that, you know, when they're using your service, how, uh, how they're going to feel, uh, how it's going to make their life easier, it's going to re uh, remove stress, uh, and so on and so forth. So help paint that picture in their mind's eye. Number seven, make them feel special. You know, so what you want to do there is just you know talk about their wisdom of their choice you know make them feel that they're that they are special treat them different you know uh, so you know you probably want to thank them personally with with mail you know with snail mail uh, and do something that really makes them remember you I've often had people say you know nobody's ever asked me that question before so do something that will make them feel special number eight make them laugh. So now you gotta remember if they feel comfortable with you there's more chances that you're gonna put them at ease and uh, the whole uh, buying experience is gonna be more enjoyable. Number nine, listen to them. Many salespeople have a bad habit of not listening and you have to listen to your customers and your prospects. So listen closely because they're gonna tell you buying signals and many more. Number ten, Show them value for their money. You know, money's tight, they work hard for their money, and you know, you gotta be able to show real value for their investment. So go ahead and show them the value for that investment. Don't talk about the features, talk about the benefits. Number 11, tell them this is a long-term relationship. You know, nobody likes a one-night stand, and you know that's not how you should be operating anyway. Uh, any relationship that you're going into in a business relationship, you got to be thinking long term, and make sure that you convey that to that uh, to that person, to that customer. Number twelve, make them feel proud. You know, make them feel feel good about their choice of uh, buying your services. Um, you know, make sure that they can give you uh, you know tell others about it. You know, because they're so proud of what they did, they're going to tell others, they're going to give you reviews, and they're going to give you referrals. And that's what that's all about. Number 13, deliver what you promised. Now, this is, a, this is something that uh, a lot of cleaning companies fall short of. You know, the salespeople will go in there and they'll promise the world and they won't deliver on half of it. So, very, very important. Number 13 is very, very important. Deliver what you promised. So, if you claim that you're going to be doing XYZ, do XYZ. Um, because you don't want them to to be unsatisfied and discover that well all the promises you made were just were just talked to to sell them the service so remember that
Well, that's all I have for now. So if you like the information in this video, go ahead and click the like button and the share button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have a wealth of uh, uh, videos on, on our channel and many more to come. So uh, until then, see ya.